Hello everybody and welcome to round 22 in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series here from Atlanta. Uh, we are starting in P10, Biffle P13. We come into this race first and third in points. We have a 30 point lead over Darnell who is on the pole. So he's actually the point leader right now. And then uh, Biffle's only one point behind Darnell, which is a bigger gap now. <laughs> so we uh, we definitely want to get up to the front. Right, to the green here. 49 laps. Let's okay, see on. what we got. Uh, yeah, this after this, we only got three races left. So it's getting down to the end. Trying to get past, uh, or get Kyle anyway, they get moving here. We're gonna squeeze in front of Terry Cook and get behind Todd. <laughs> now this is a different version than we ran in the night race earlier this season. This is like the one we ran in the Cup Series when we were with the Cup Physics, so we have a decent setup for it. The cup race, though, here, I forgot it is a day race this season for the cup series and the, and the fall race, too. So, um, with cup physics, we historically haven't run very well here, so I'm a little nervous about that on Friday. But <clears throat> we have this race to worry about and Memphis as well. So, and Memphis is going to be the real stressor because we got to gain a lot of points. We just got to maintain in these two series, uh, Craftsman Trucks and Sprint Cup. But, a couple laps in. We're not going to push it just yet. We will when we have to. Wow, they almost stopped. In front of us there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, we're not going to push the issue right now. We could have gone done and, you know, done some three wide, whatnot. But if we don't have to just yet, we're not going to. And uh, <laughs> we'll save that for Friday. Because, yeah, that race, we're going to have to gain what we can. And then just, I think, maintain like we have in the past at this track. Because I, I threw everything but the kitchen sink at it. Tried multiple setups. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, we, we put in a good qualifying lap, all things considered. I think we're 20th in that race. So, we'll see how that goes. I'd like to get around Todd here, since he's single file. Uh, I didn't know if he was going to give me the room or not, but he does. And our teammate's behind us, so... Uh, we could... We're going to let him go. We're making a executive call here. And we're going to try to sneak back in the line behind him if we can. We are clear? And I don't think so. Now I think we are. Wow, that worked. We were probably like a hair away from the 18's bumper. The reason why I wanted to do that was I wanted to be able to draft with Greg. I mean, it was pretty obvious, I'm sure, to why we did it that way. We're trying to get Greg back up to the front here. Well, not back, but to the front. Then again, if you consider the spring race in the equation, he finished up front. So we're trying to get him back up there like he was in the spring. Wow, I thought we were three wide. That felt very sketchy, <laughs> to say the least. Clear all around, all clear. One spot ahead of Darnell. Well, nah, he, I think he led a lap. Who's our leader? David Starr. Biffle, don't go high. I can't help you if you go up there. Yeah, we are 100% in team teamwork mode right now. If we can get up there and get a 1-2, push Biffle to a win. <laughs> it's uh, teamwork makes the dream work part two. <laughs> I 
I mean, I would like to try to get my bonus points out of this as well. But if it means putting us in a position where, you know, Greg can drift back, I'm not going to do it. It wouldn't make sense. We're going to push it. Oh, come on, Biff. Is he going to do it? He's going to do it. Biff's got to set on him. We're going to go three wide. All right. See, if the AI pushes a three wide, I feel a lot more comfortable than if we did it, but the momentum killed us, so. Let's see what we got here. I feel like we're going to be better off if we push three wide in one and two. Yeah, I wasn't going to hesitate to take that opportunity to put Darnell over there in the middle. Tried to keep Biffle in the gas. Oh, we're now we're three wide. Are we still three wide? I don't think so. Oh, don't, don't spin out on me now, boys. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Excuse me. No Kyle. Darnell held us up quite a bit there. And then he just took off. Uh, Kyle got me. I was going to try to hang it down there still, but... Uh, we were getting wobbly. I didn't want to chance it. We're going to have to try to fight our way back down. Well, okay. That was easy. <laughs> it was really easy to get back down there. Alright, Rick. You are not going to be behind my teammate for long. We're going to whoa up a little bit. We're going to try to shoot it down here under Scott. And then we're going to try to get a run on the back stretch to get past Crawford here. We'll take him three wide. We're going to risk it this time. I don't like doing it, but... Because I feel more comfortable when the AI opens up those gaps because I feel like they're more, like, aware. But we make it work. Rick is all over us now. All right. Biff was going up to that wall, and I was trying to stay with him, but I had to be very careful about David Starr because I we hadn't cleared him quite yet. These weird checkups, though, off the corner are making it really hard for me to set up a good run to push Biffle. We got to back out because I don't want to push him to the outside. I want him to go under Ron. And then if we could get actually a good run here, we could push him to get under Darnell. But we had a terrible exit out of two. We're going to have a good run down the front straight away. Shot there. Don't go high. If he does, I, I got his back, but... All right, we got a good run coming off of turn two. Uh, not good enough to be able to get a push. Let's see if we could get something going here. Whoa, that's a bad angle if I was going to push. I had to get out of that. This plan isn't working very well at the moment, but... As long as Darnell doesn't lead the most laps at the end of the day. We're not even halfway yet, so. There's still plenty of time for Biffle to get those extra points. Come on, Biff. He looks like he's trying to do it himself. Whoa. Got to watch for him today. And he's making a run for it. Yes. Thank you, Greg. Okay. 
this will be the push down the back straightaway he needs. Why are the back tires wearing so fast? I don't normally have this issue with Atlanta. I think I picked the same setup I ran the cup race in. I hope I did. Alright. Both single filed out from the rest of them. Maybe we could check out. We couldn't at the day to night race we ran earlier this year. So we're going to try to this time. Top three in points are running one, two, three. That's pretty crazy. But hey, I mean, cream rises to the top at the end of the season, right? So this is shaping up to be an interesting finish this season. I think in the beginning of this season, I'd have to double check, but I believe I was thinking it was going to... Woo, Darnell got very close to us. That spooked me. <laughs> Up to the top there. Just stayed in the gas, though. Hopefully it would stick, and it did. I figured there was a good chance it would, considering the front tires haven't been wearing as bad as the rear, so I figured if it's got like a push feeling going to the top, we'd be all right, because a tight car obviously wears the front tires faster. <laughs> Let's see if we get any gap. We're gonna give him a push. Just got interested now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Straighten up there, cowboy. We're going to restart. It looks like in ninth because the caution came out before we. Uh, Hit the line, so that's a lucky break. Hey, round the 23. Damn. Hey, round the 23. I was gonna give him a shove, and I figured it was gonna be gentle enough, but hey, round the 23. we were clearly too loose to actually make that move. I'm just glad he kept hey, it together. Um, we're going to gamble it. We're going to gamble. Caution number one. We're going to watch it in real time. A little nudge, and then we started to lose it, tried to save it, and then Darnell clipped us, and then... Thought we were going to be okay when we hit the wall, but we weren't. And then I was like, just don't go on pit road. So I tried to avoid there at the end because I didn't want a black flag. And then I just couldn't even get the damn thing straight. One more look at it just so we could kind of see what else happened because it's, yeah, in that last replay. You couldn't really see everything behind it. So we've already made the contact to the back of Biffle. You can see we're out of it. You can see the little skid mark because we're starting to slide. And then tap the brake obviously at that point and uh, overcorrected just a little bit and had I saw Darnell coming so I tried to lock it down and uh, yeah we were all running such a tight pack just people were just going to start bumping and banging there but that caution coming out before we hit the line saves us No one else behind us is really impacted too much. These guys are like five wide, four or five wide. Oh, they start wrecking here. 
I think because they're slowing up for the caution. Yeah, we all are just sliding down through the grass here. Oh, wow, there's a lot that actually happens behind us. I forgot to check. Musgrave's down there. He slid from up here, but I forgot to check, actually, so I'm not sure at all who had DNFs from this. And I won't even be covering that this race because I was so consumed at the front of the pack. Yeah, they're bumping up pretty good, but it's all slower speeds now, so it's not too bad. One onboard view I wanted to do. This is Chad McCumby. He sees... Well, he sees a lot. Look at that. A-plus for crash avoidance for Chad McCumby. Alright, so we're going green this time by. Um... Yeah, as you know, before we uh, stepped away there uh, to show the replay, we weren't pitting. Um, I, I looked at the outside of the car, like I switched through the camera views real fast. Uh, didn't obviously pause the game, just kind of what they gave me with the chase, the far chase cam. And uh, it didn't look like the damage was that bad, so we're going to stick with that option and just, yeah. I mean, obviously we have no other choice at this point. Because we're going green, we ain't gonna pit on a green. So we're gonna hope for the best here. I'm not gonna try to go to the outside because I feel like I'll get stuck. But Darnell didn't pit, so I figured if he didn't pit, I'm not gonna pit. And aside from that right rear being worn out a little bit more than the fronts, the tires really aren't bad. They're still in the green because we didn't lock it down on the brakes. I tried to get back in it. I think, anyway. Alright, all all well this clearly is about to turn into a, a bad decision to not pit. Biffle's falling back even. Because we're not up there to help our teammate. Whoa, we're loose as frick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday's preview of what that race feels like it's going to be. Watching the pack leave us and us fending for ourselves and just trying to hold our spot. Well, we got a good run through three and four. But I think a big part of that is the two and three wide racing up ahead. This is going to be really challenging, I feel like, at, from here on out because of the tires and the damage. We can keep it on the bottom. Surprisingly, not as challenging as I thought it would be there. We just got to let a little bit more out of it, which is understandable. Because of our current situation, damage and tire-wise. We got 21 laps, so we got time. We just got to get up to our teammate. We'll let him in, and we'll work our way to the front. That's two races in the last, like, two weeks where we go to give someone a push, and it just, we get loose, can't control it. I can't remember ever coming off of the turn like that, though, and having that kind of... Oh, wow, Chrissy Wall Chrissy Wallace. Still there. What the heck? Clear, clear. Where did Chrissy Wallace come from? Larry Foyce... These trucks that pitted or something? There's, like, a whole slew of trucks that are, like... Sockwell, McCumbie, Mitchell, Crafton, that's not an unusual name to see. Chrissy Wallace, though, like. Maybe. Oh, God, we should have pitted. We should have pitted. We're trying to hold off Larry Foyt right now. I hope these guys can hold off Chrissy. Whoa, come on, Chrissy Wallace, get back in the accelerator. 
You have fresh tires. You don't have an excuse to not be fast. I feel like I have to let out a little earlier just so I don't run her over. I'm also feeling like I'm smoking what little bit of tire I have left trying to keep ahead of these guys. Alright, she's being held up under behind Arnell. I'm taking advantage of it. Taking advantage of the situation is going to really be our only chance at keeping these fresh tire trucks behind us. This is a plot twist that I did not see coming. We're still three wide? Biffle's three wide. We're three wide. Everybody goes three wide. Alright, we got that. I wanted to stay up there with Biffle, but I see... I think that's Sockwell behind me, and he's on fresh tire, so I'm trying to keep him behind me as well. Todd and I are just kind of like playing guards to this pack, trying to keep these trucks with fresh tires behind us. This race definitely took an unexpected twist. We need to stay up here. Biffle needs to stay right within like a spot or two of Darnell. Wow, we got a good run. We're going to try to pass here. And we're going to give room to Hornaday can get under there. Because now I think we have Darnell three wide. Nope, we lost it. But we do get a run on Darnell. Come on, Larry. Stick with me, buddy. We got this. Give me the room, Darnell. I'm not going to back off. We're pushing. Damn it. And I'm, like, scared, you know. Still there out of my mind right now I feel like to even try to nudge someone out of the way because I don't feel like we're gonna be able to keep the truck straight we just can't seem to pass and hold a spot oh come on Todd we just can't pass Larry Take a hike, dude. You're not in the championship hunt. Just get out of here, dude. Darnell's holding us up, too. We need to get past Darnell and then let these fresh tires behind us just eat him alive. Go. Come on. I even risked a bump to try to get you to move. My heart stopped for a second there. I'll, I'll, I'm willing to take a bet on that one. When I did nudge him. Double file up ahead is keeping them within spitting distance, but. Let's see, Biff got passed. Who's our leader then? Kyle? I think that's Kyle. Yeah, it's Kyle. Gotta get Eric Darnell. Because I don't want to, you know, have him gain any points on us. Because we haven't led, so he's got bonus points and the spot. Right now, Biffle will be the point leader. We'd probably be behind him by just a small handful, but... If we finished right now, as we are, Biffle in third, 
I think the top three in points after this race, with th four races left, we'd all probably be within like 10 points, I think. I can't do all that math that quickly in my head, but well, probably like 15, 20, actually. But I don't really care about that right this second. We just are trying to pass the 99 truck to just kind of break even. We are really getting tight now. Yeah, we're pushing it harder, and the right front is just melting. It's now worn worse than the right rear, which we didn't have that issue in the beginning. Leaning on Darnell a little bit there, more than I wanted to, because I didn't want to help him pass Todd. I had to touch the brake to try to keep it to the bottom. All right, Todd, stay down here. Come on, Todd. Let's get some draft. Chrissy's behind us. We're going to send it under Eric. Outside. Still out there. Did we finally pass a truck? It only took like 10, 15 laps to do it, but we finally passed somebody, and I think he's now fallen into the clutches of the fresh tire trucks. So that could be the end of Darnell's day. Once they get you, I feel like it's just game over. Chrissy Wallace is getting aggressive back there again. Oh, we do a bump and run on Todd. That looks so cool. He did the little wiggle and everything. That's awesome. And now he's in the top lane, so it's going to slow down Darnell more, and he's going to sink. This is good. We're in a... Oh, my gosh. How did Todd get back here so quick? I didn't think Todd was one of the tires, or one of the trucks that pit for tires. I don't think she's going to get under us, yeah. We're coming, Greg. I don't think we're going to be much help, but we're going to at least try to keep you in the top ten. Wow, Chrissy Wallace. She's like, I've never been in this spot before. I'm going to get a better finish than Aaron has all season. Oh, he took that all the way up to the wall to block that one. Wow, we got an amazing run, though, with that entry. But because we had to slow up so much to block the lane, uh, we're going to just block the bottom. I think we can hold it, hold her off on the top. Oh, wow, she got a run. Just trying to avoid running over Biffle. Damn it. <sighs> Trying to be the good teammate here, and it's very difficult. <laughs> we got two more laps. I mean, I'll settle for what we can get. But I hope we could get a little bit more. Oh, she got held up by Skinner. Will she go high into turns three and four? Probably not, but we're going to try it. Wide, we got side. Skinner with a bump. Stay low. And that's the race. We got it. Kyle Bush is going to win it. Rick Crawford, Ron Hornaday, Scott Speed, Greg, myself, fifth and sixth. Skinner, Chrissy Wallace, Larry Fort, 
Foyt and Mark Mitchell for the top 10. Darnell finishes 13th, so good points day for us. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for Atlanta here in the trucks. We will see you all on Wednesday for the Nationwide Series at Memphis. And uh, until then, thank you for all the love and support through likes, comments, and subscriptions. And until next time, have a good one.